All right, so I just did a video on the East Hill Outdoors under under quilt. So if you missed that video, it will probably be up before this one or after this one. So I'll try to link it in the description. <clears throat> or just sub to my channel and you can wait for the video to pop up. So tonight I'm going to be... Uh... You'll be sleeping under the snug pack jungle blanket. I don't think it's quite cold enough to have the <clears throat> 15 degree bag yet, so. But I've been pretty happy with this blanket. Nice and long. You know, it's a nice benefit to the blanket too because because of the nature of the hammock, when you get in, you throw the blanket over you, it, it scrunches up only this, mo in, in this much versus all the way out, so you're actually getting layers that you're sleeping on. <clears throat> and just to, just to add another layer of warmth, I got the Get Out Gear Puffy Down Blanket again. Just I figured, why not bring it? I cut off all the tags this time. So, all I gotta do is pull it out, fluff it, and I'll let that loft while it sits in the hammock. So I'll have yet another layer of warmth over me. And where is it? I forgot to mention this in my initial video. Oh, it's got two snaps. It's got snaps on each side. Is it this side or this other side? Oh, I think it's this side. So you can, uh, if you're cold and you're sitting around the campfire, you can snap that on. And snaps here and snaps up here, but I don't know if I can snap this. I don't know if I've got enough dexterity. Well, anyway. You can actually wear it around camp while you're, if you're feeling chilled. So. <clears throat> and oddly enough, just standing here wearing it like this, I can actually feel my uh, body heat radiating, radiating off of it. So you can wrap up at camp. I wouldn't get it close to the fire though because you know, it's down and it tools, it will melt and get holes in it. But I thought that was a kind of a nice feature. I'll link that video in the description as well. So this is lengthwise. <clears throat> Dual layers of warmth. let that loft up in the bag so I'll probably go with the um, that will the puffy down will go on top of me and then the snug pack will go over me cover my feet and then this, the, the down I'll actually uh, use a pull up close to my head you know keep your neck warm and I need a tarp I'm gonna bust out the old cloudburst tarp tonight haven't had this thing out in, well, not last year. Been a long time. It's still a nylon tarp. Spent a few bucks on it, but. Wow, you gonna do me like that, seriously? Too much to ask. Gear cooperation. Sheesh. 
you be hanging up with my stingers. I just love these. They make, they make hanging up a tarp just ridiculously easy. So, don't have to waste time with any knots or anything. Just string it up and you just run it through the stinger and then boom. My buddy Jared from the hammock group told me about them. I think I'd seen them before in another video, but he had some hanging up and I'm like, oh, I like those. Of course, the uh, <clears throat> tarp's upside down, but whatever. Got to undo all these hanks. This is uh, that reflective cordage. They don't trip on it when you're walking around. Of course, I always trip on it. I just got these. I'll stake these out. I got uh, 
hotel hammock set for the night. I've been uh, asked before if I run a uh, ridge line on my hammock. And I actually do have one. It's an Amsteel ridge line, but I just never really felt like I needed it. So I always make sure to bring it. Like I've got four of these mini little just tent stakes in case I need it. Probably a little bit more cordage than I need, but you know, it's never, it never hurts to have extra cordage. And I actually had two extra um, things. Oh, actually I've got two metal carabiners in here I forgot all about. They hold 60 pound weight. That would have been better than the, um, the plastic carabiners I'm using on the hammock now. So I guess I'll throw those away and switch to these. Money. Forgot those were in there. I just got some extra paracord roll. Just Oh, there's the setup. I think it looks pretty good. I'll put my chair on the other side when I go to when I go when I turn in to go to sleep and I'll put the blankets on the chair, crawl in, reach out, grab the blankets, pull them over myself, and I'll hopefully sleep the night away. And I'd have to get up every constantly to use the visit the bush. Answer the call of nature. And yeah. Alright, so with my recent slump and all, unsure why that's happening, but nonetheless, uh, my buddy Anchor 440 suggested that I didn't have enough camo. So I'm all green, basically. Tarp, both of the blankets, hammock and underquilt are green. Shirt is brown. Pants are brown. Well, tan pants are tundra. And the green t-shirt is green. But I think we can I think we can go next level camo.